In 1996, it was the last year that Ford Motor Company made the fifth generation Ford Bronco. And they've been teasing the sixth generation for four and a half years. And here at Horseshoe Bay Resort, just outside of Austin, Texas, there are 49 Ford Broncos for us to play with. Now, clearly Mike has parked it on a high angle, so he'll be climbing in that side. This is the two door in the wild, ready for off-roading. And you can see it has the top off of this vehicle, but you could also take the doors off. And with the four door option, there are a host of really cool features. One that stands out for me from a design standpoint is actually right here. These are 150 pound tethers. So if you have a canoe on top, you can strap it down. The entire color palette on the inside was really inspired by nature and outdoorsmen. If you look at it, it looks like it blends in with the environment. The Bronco is no slug. In fact, it has Baja racing DNA. For the dashboard on the interior of the Bronco, Ford really wanted the consumer to feel like they were in the original Ford Bronco. So you're gonna see a higher dash and a circular instrument panel up on the front. The off-road features of the Bronco are paramount, tough and rugged. Two engine choices. This is a 2.7. It puts out 310 horsepower and 400 pounds-feet of torque, made it to a 10-speed transmission, which is automatic, and there is no manual. And if you opt for the 2.3 liter with the manual transmission like this one right here, you're going to be looking at 270 horsepower with 310 pounds-feet of torque. And I think you've driven enough. My turn. Oh, I'm glad to be in the driver's seat. Let's talk about technology. Ford have upped their game with an 8-inch or an optional 12-inch in the brand new Bronco, and it's a touchscreen. And one of the coolest features is the fact that you can actually do over-the-air updates that are really seamless without even touching the screen. All right, of course, it comes with Ford's Copilot 360 when it comes to safety. And there's a cool little green line that goes around the outside of the vehicle on the center TFT display here. Tells me if I'm crossing the line in the middle of the road or the side of the road. And it'll also come optioned with Sync 4 from Ford Motor Company, which allows you to use things like Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Now, driving dynamics. I know you were worried that the 2.7 wasn't going to be enough power for you. It is absolutely, it actually exceeded expectations and you have seven different driving modes, each one of those fully capable and when you leave it in the normal mode in two-wheel drive, that EcoBoost will kick up and it will go. So do you know Ford made a mistake? There are actually eight driving modes? No. Yeah, they just don't count normal. I don't count normal either, just saying. <laughs> Nobody should count normal. Sitting in the passenger seat, uh, first time here on the passenger seat, been driving most of the time uh, on the first round of this experience. Uh, comfortable, definitely rugged, and aiming at what, Land Rover? It definitely feels like a Defender in here, and Ford used to own Land Rover at one point, so I wonder what they learned from that experience. Ford? Mm -hmm. And the best part about the Ford Bronco, the Badlands Edition like this one right now, with the 33-inch tires, is actually the ground clearance. You have 10.3 inches of ground clearance from the ground itself to the bottom of the frame. And it has 33 and a half inches of water fording. And that's really necessary since Mike seems to have backed us into a lake. <sighs> And that's the exhaust bubbling under the water. Over 200 accessories at launch, including things like this Yakima awning. And the best part is you can even strap a tent down by Yakima as well on top to go off-roading and camping. No cable TV. Now you've seen it. You want a new Ford Bronco, don't you? Yeah, but the problem is my wife locked the bank account and took away my credit cards. All right, they start at under $30,000 and reservations are still available. I'm Mike Caudill, and that's Nick Miles.